Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are opening Simon Says Stamps Be Happy Stamp Kit of the Month for September. So let's get into it. Alright, so of course first off we have the lovely little snack for later. <laughs> I love that they put that in there. We have a Tim Holtz Ranger Distress Crayon. I know the colors varied. Mine was frayed burlap. And then we have... A Simon Says Stamp background blending brush, which is kind of cool. I did see on a different video how to put this back on the cap. You just kind of um, put the edge to it and then twist as you put it in so that <laughs> all those little bristles actually get inside the cap instead of having them get folded. So that's a tip that I saw on a different channel. Um, this is the information about Stamp Timber, which is currently going on, if you didn't know. And then we have the CZ Design Scripty Hello die. I think I have something similar, but in a smaller size. So it's fun to have different sizes of that. We have some scrapbook adhesives, foam adhesive, which is a nice thickness just to give some more dimension to our cards. We have a Tim Holtz Ranger sanding disc. Um, it has the velcro to uh, connect to those blending brushes um, and then that'll sand off like um, pieces of cardstock or to distress things so that's kind of nice and it'll be fun to play with that a little bit and then you just remove it like you do your other foam brushes foam brushes yeah all right and then we have an embossing folder that is called the crisscross floral and then we have six double-sided sheets of paper rose be happy six by six pattern paper and i like several of these so um, it'll be hard choosing which ones i <laughs> use because um, there's some uh, pieces that you can fussy cut off of it there's some pieces that are those uh, rectangle um, so you can use that as some uh, affair affirma affair you know what I'm trying to say guys I can never say that word um, I'm actually turning um, this into a card today so that'll be fun and then we have a beautiful stencil I'm excited to use this stencil guys it's so pretty I don't know what it's called though hold on it's called the retro flowers six by six stencil and a set of four Ooh, that'd be fun. Um, and then as you can see, you also get two sheets of Paper Rose Be Happy 6x8 die cut elements, which is really nice. Um, they are still connected like by one or two little points, so you just have to uh, pop them through. And then the stamp of this month is Simon Says Stamp Be Happy 6x8 Clear Stamp, and it's so pretty. And then of course, this is your paper that is telling me what all this stuff is and gives you some inspiration. And then we have a uh, couple pieces of cardstock one is a Simon Says Stamp black glossy 100 pound cardstock I know a lot of videos have been using that with the sanding disc and the embossing folder I'm not going to do that today but that is an idea um, and then there was a sheet of Nina solar white 110 pound cardstock which is a nice heavy cardstock to make our card bases so first off, I did use that embossing panel um, with just some yellow cardstock that I had in my stash. Um, and then I'm die cutting um, part of that pattern paper um, just to have a little quick card. Um, and then I am going to stamp right onto that pattern paper, which made me a little nervous, guys. This is why you pull out your Misty, um, or in my co case, my faux Misty. Um, <laughs> I am using Simon Says Stamp Mocha Saturate Positively Saturated um, Ink. That is such a long title, guys. I don't know how to shorten that title, <laughs> but that's what I'm using. Um, I do stamp it a couple times just to make sure that it's a really good imprint. Um, in a world of roses, be a sunflower. I love that quote. Um, and then I'm also going to use that ink to just kind of... Um, almost distress the edges make it look distressed but it's just to pull in some of those browns and tone down the yellow just a little touch um i also really like how the embossing folder came out with this paper um, i did warp it a little bit because i i put some water on it to help the fibers and of course that for me then warps it because it's me 
I'm also putting some um, adhesive on it. I don't like this adhesive, guys. I got it from Hobby Lobby, and it's just, it's not my scrapbooking.com adhesive that I love. So I'm probably going to go back to that. It's a little bit more expensive, but clearly there's a reason. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't frustrate me, me nearly as much as this does, but I did buy a whole pack. I will use it. I will get through it, and then I will go back to my um, scrapbook.com dot adhesive that I love so much. Um, I'm just placing that uh, panel onto the yellow, and then I do add some honeybee um, stamps, uh, gems, in a few different places around the words um, just to give it a little bit of bling, a little bit of pop, um, because we're keeping it so simple on this one. And I just put a couple on the right side and then uh, one on the left and one on the bottom. Yep. Yeah, and then me figuring out where I want it. I'm just using a needle tool to do that. It helps with the smaller gems. And that's that final card. And my plan was to make this video way faster and then make way more than just two cards uh, but unfortunately we had a loss in the family and so um, everything took a back seat to that so today you are getting two cards with this unboxing um, but there will be videos in the future that includes this stamp set and these stencils and everything um, I did want to get the second card out I did uh, some uh, embossing with the um, flower um, image it is a set of three on that stamp which is super fun um i'm just gonna emboss it with versamark ink um, and then i'm gonna use some white embossing powder because i decided to go more daisy than sunflower with this um card i just wanted to try something different um and white i don't have a great uh, pigment white ink. I wasn't sure that would show um, real well on my craft cardstock. Um, so that's why I went with white embossing powder. I did put some anti-static um, powder on my uh, cardstock first, which of course then slightly turns it white. I still haven't, I need a, I need a brush guys. I have a bag and I don't like it. I need a brush because I feel like it just kind of, I don't know, it always kind of just stains the car stock. It's weird. Anyway, so I'm just pouring that uh, white embossing powder on there. It made a great impression. Um, and then funneling that back into its little cup. Um, I actually used the piece of paper that said all the um, things that come into the kit. <laughs> I just always use copy paper or whatever I have to funnel that back in. Um, and then I'm just going to melt this embossing powder and that warps it a little bit. And then I'm going to try the baby wipe because, <laughs> you know, I have two, I have two kids in diapers. Why not try the baby wipe? Um, wait, I, I no, no, it got rid of the white film that the powder tends to leave, but man, did it warp the paper because it got too wet. So I actually, uh, put it under a book for a couple days and then came back to <laughs> this card later on. So that's why it's a little bit flatter here in this next shot. All right, so I am just going to uh, continue making this image. So my original thought was that I'm going to put this image in the middle and I'm actually going to use this craft cardstock um, just like it is. You know, maybe cut the edges down, put a pretty frame on it. Um, but with the amount of warping that ended up happening, um, you'll see I changed it up. So I'm just using some more Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Ink. This color is the Sunbeam. I had to look it up, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to zoom in on my video. Go, what? What is? what does that say? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> um, and then in the green, I'm using Fairway. Um, that's what I'm going to use for the leaves. Um, lining this up was uh, pretty easy. Um, I don't always line up things well. And I know there's certain stamping tools to make that easier on you. Um, but your girl's on a budget. <laughs> and she has a really small craft area. So we can't have multiple stamping platforms just to make certain stamps easier. So, you know, we're just going to be a little uneven. 
which is fine because that's how my cards turn out too. You'll you'll see later. <laughs> we're a little. We're never straight. We're never straight. No matter how, no matter what I do, something always ends up slightly slightly off. But you know that's the that's the great thing about homemade cards. I mean they're perfect because of the intention and the thought behind them and the time that goes into them. And you know they're still pretty. <laughs> they're just you know not always perfect, which is fine. Um, I am going to use the same rectangle die for my stash that I used earlier to cut this out. And then I'm just kind of figuring out how I want this card to go. Um, I knew I wanted to use the Hello Scripty uh, little uh, word die there. And I decided to bring in some of this uh, paper that I used earlier, but I'm using the other side because I wanted to uh, really show off those daisies. I liked the color. Um, but I didn't have enough to make a full frame, so I'm switching it up by making this weird, like, half frame thing. I did use uh, my scissors just to cut the edges off because that was really easy. And then I tried using my cutting board, cutting board, trimmer, trimmer, that's the right word, guys. Um, I used my trimmer <laughs> to do the uh, longer side, and then I'm just uh, cutting these corners with my little corner thingy, corner cutter. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> words, words are just escaping to me, escaping me guys tonight. Um, I am going to spritz this paper and I'm going to uh, bring in that embossing folder again, because why not? Why not just have the texture? Um, I did put way too much water on it, which you'll see in a minute because the edges all went weird. Um, and then I also want to point out that little puff ball, <laughs> Uh, you can usually tell my videos uh, if I'm crafting near my daughters or not. Um, I want you to count how many puff balls ends up in the corner of the screen. Uh, oh well, <laughs> some cute little Easter egg for you right there. Is count the count the puff balls that she ends up putting on my desk um, with my little. Um, hand tweezers uh, that I could have used for when I was embossing but somebody had them uh anyway <laughs> so I just used my uh my hot air gun blow dryer whatever it is guys um just to dry that paper some more since it got too wet and then I'm just putting some uh, tape adhesive on the back just to give it uh, a little bit more strength. And then, of course, I realized I didn't even have a card base for this. So I cut one real fast and scored it uh, in the middle. All my cards always end up being um, a standard A2 size, that four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, I rarely do a different size than that. Here, here and there, I'll do like five by seven. But usually, if I don't tell you, it's probably an A2. Uh, and then, as you can see, somehow even that that embossing folder <laughs> I always forget this that I need to cut um, my paper just a little bit bigger than the four and a quarter by five and a half because the embossing folder you know embosses and it it moves the paper and so it's not quite the right size and so I have a little bit of white around it it's fine it's fine guys anyway I'm just using some um, glue to put that daisy paper <laughs> Just, sorry, I'm laughing at the puff balls as I watch this video and try to do this voiceover. Um, some liquid glue uh, to do the uh, the daisy pattern paper, and then I'm using those foam adhesive um, element, elements. It's just adhesive, foam adhesive, um, to pop up that daisy stamping. Just um, give it a little bit more dimension, um, make it uh, really pop out. Um, and then help with the warping. And then I am just using liquid glue to put the hello near the bottom there. I really, I like how it turned out. It's not exactly perfect, but it's a little different. I love seeing all the different creativity um, with his cards and all these different videos that you see um, showing off. So these are the two cards that I made. You'll see more in later videos, guys, but I wanted to get this out for you. If you like this video, if you l like listening to me ramble, you know, subscribe and watch another video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.